Jackie Brennan, and I'm working on my cousin's 2008 Chevy. The door locks didn't work. I already did the right side a few months ago, and now I'm going to try to fix this left side. So I'm going to, what I've done is I've got um, this part off Amazon, and I'll put the link below. And I'm doing this a little different than some other ones on, on YouTube. What I'm going to do is I'm going to install this here, and this part comes with a brace, which I'm going to put this brace right here, put a screw there, a screw there, and then hook to this part here, and we'll put the connecting rod here, and up over there. So right now I'm getting ready to drill the hole, and I've marked it with a screw. Now the kit does not come with screws for the brace. You basically just need um, some small metal screws. Probably will work. I just found some laying around. Um, to get start the hole, I'm using a 3 30 seconds bit. One of the screws I have is a self-cutting metal screw, so I'm going to see if that'll cut through this. Not quite, so I'm going to drill the hole a little bigger. I'm going to use a 764 this time. Try that. Yeah, that's cutting in. These are slightly different screws. I want to see if this screw will work. Yeah, that one's going to work too. Okay, so now. You may not think there's room here to put it, but I'm going to show you something on the door in just a minute. But I bent this this way so that this little hole here is where a screw goes in. Now they do give you that screw. So I'm going to put my screw here and then I'm going to put their screw there. And I'm going to drill another hole here to hold that brace. We'll come back to that. I want to show you something else on the door. Why I put it here. So, if you see on this door, here's where the door lock goes. And, and you see up here the door lock? You've got this cavity right here, right to the right of the door lock. Well, you've got it here too. This is a cavity here but it's got this styrofoam in it. So I just pull that out. That's about the thickness of the um, lock solenoid. And this will give it space when I put the door panel back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this up and then I'll be back with you. Okay, I forgot to mention something. I've got the brace screwed on one side. And it's going to line up there and it's going to hook to here and I forgot to mention now before you put all this together and screw all the holes down you've got to have uh, this connecting rod put through the back it, of course this turns so you can adjust it but um, you've got to mark this so I've got my hole well, my screw's gonna see there's where the screw goes. My screw's gonna go through there. 
I'm put that down there. And so now I have to get the length of the connecting rod. And you don't need a lot. I'm gonna put a mark here. And what I'm gonna do is connect. I, wait a minute. Gotta have everything in the lock position. Take that off. So this is down and that one's down. And I'm gonna cut it right about here, that at the bottom of the tape. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. Kit come came with a little pack here. Mm. No. Before before you do all this on the door, the drilling and everything, you want to find your wires and hook this up and make sure it's working, which I already did. But I'm going to show you. Inside here, you'll find uh, taped up five wires, and don't make the mistake I did and cut all five of them. You only need two out of these. You're gonna see a yellow, dark blue, and a black. Those you don't cut. Cut, uh, uh, I'm sorry, you do cut the yellow, you don't cut the orange. So you're gonna end up with the green and the yellow cut and they hook to the two wires on the solenoid and the green goes to green. And we're just gonna hook it up to test it. And the blue goes to yellow. So it does work. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and connect the rods together and see if I can figure this out. Okay. There's a little hole, and then there's one you push into the side. The little hole is where your rod for this piece goes in. And then the rod here goes into the side. Okay. Now.
I'll put this screw in first to hold that. Then I'll put those two in. I did this on my 2000 Dodge Dakota about six months ago. And I did the other door on this car, the right back side, about, about a year ago, and it's still working. So I didn't buy the cheapest, cheapest solenoid. I read that a lot of them go bad. Um, but I bought a kind of a high quality, which uh, didn't cost that much more. Uh, these are $5 a piece. I'll leave that link below. Now let's try it out. Okay, it works. It goes to the side, but when you get the panel on the door, it won't it won't go to the side. The panel has a guide for it. So, okay, so I've got here's how I cut the wires. I I cut about here because those wires go to this. So, that gave me a lot of extra wire to work with. And you kind of want to tape this off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tape it back behind the door here. Because if you don't, they'll rattle. And you can solder if you want. And that works too. Then I've got these little ties. I, I did cut a brace off here. And so I'm going to go ahead and, and re reconnect that with a wire tie. So everything should be good now. Right, before I put the door panel on, I'm going to double check the window that it rolls down. It does not hit any wires or anything. Yeah. Okay. It sounds good. On my truck, after I got it all together, the, the wire nuts hit the window as it went down. Okay, so. Gotta put this door to the back on me. Again, I took the styrofoam out of here so we got room for this part. Hook up. Hook up a couple things here. Okay, this one, if you want to come in close. Just so you can see, hey, this is hard to figure out to take it apart, but now that I got it apart, you can squeeze these two things and that will let that slide out of the hole, or you can just pull it up out of the hole, which is what I did because if you look on here, the hole has a groove to it. Either way it'll work. But putting this back together, I'm gonna put that that ball back in the slot 
and I'm gonna pull it back far enough to get past the groove. And then I'm gonna push it in. So I had, what I did is I just took a tiny screwdriver to pry it out of there. So it should just clip right back. I'm gonna get the lock through there and put this lip over. Get that sitting down. Now the door should snap in. I had two broken clips when I took this off. The same thing happened on the other door. I'll show you the clips that I bought to replace. In here is a screw. Mine was missing and it's covered with this plate. I'm just going to put the plate back without the screw. Just a little tiny screwdriver will get that out. Before I do that, I'm going to put this on. This is something you got to take off before you get the door off. It just snaps on. Here's a little thing that holds it. 